We continue with the rest of our stories and foodborne illness of food poisoning is becoming a public health problem and in Ghana it is not uncommon to receive reports of people get ill as a result of consuming food at public functions. World Health Organization says changes in farm practices and the increasing preference for meat and poultry in developing countries all have the potential to increase the incidence of food poisoning. I think food poisoning is a terrible thing. I had it once. I have abdominal pains. I took in some rice with um, salad cream. Mm, it gave me a very wonderful time. You know, I had a flying stomach, not a runny stomach. Comfort Ayambela is a food vendor. According to her, for 15 years, she has been selling food to customers in Accra without complaints of food poisoning. Anytime you are preparing a meal for a customer, it must be prepared in a hygienic way. But even with years of experience, she may be storing some meals improperly, which could result in foodborne illness. Although statistics are not readily available, according to the World Health Organization, out of the number of people who get ill from food poisoning, most of them will recover without any lasting effect from their illness. For some, however, the effects can be devastating and even deadly. Some serious effects associated with several common types of food poisoning include kidney failure, chronic arthritis, brain and nerve damage, and even death. In Ghana, it is rampant to hear cases of people getting sick after consuming food at public functions such as weddings, funerals, and outdoorings. Disease causing foodborne microorganisms like the ambient temperature, like the temperatures between 10 degrees to 60 degrees Celsius. As soon as you finish that stew and you do not put it in the fridge and you let it stay overnight, any time after two hours, the microorganisms are growing. Anyone who just gets to a party and a salad is being served, it has to be served on ice. As food poisoning becomes a public health concern, the Food and Drugs Authority says it is the duty of all citizens to be vigilant and buy food only from vendors with food hygiene permits. The Food and Drugs Authority issues food hygiene permits to all food service establishments. So even if the caterer or the catering facility doesn't have the food hygiene permits, then it means you are going to eat the food even at your own risk.